Hey guys, JV, and welcome to my first video this year, 2024. In today's video, uh, I have a tutorial for you all about how we're gonna do magazine releases or how I do magazine releases on my guns. So real quick, here's my Remington ACR. And this gun like has the same magazine release like my Scar H, my MCX, my MPX, all of my M4s, those guns. And the fact that it is a simple mechanism where there's a button on the right side of the gun that you that if you move just off the trigger guard, push that in and the magazine comes out. But on that magazine, there is a hole on the side that is meant to be, um, this is hard to explain, but on this magazine release, there is a little lap. There is something on the inside of this release part that is meant to catch the hole on the magazine. So obviously when the magazine releases up and out, the magazine comes out. When the magazine is pushed, magazine release is pushed in, the magazine will not come out very easily. So what this does is it catches that magazine by the hole. That sounded dirty as oh. Okay. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. Before I show you how to make it, actually, this is what the piece looks like. There is a little rolled up piece of cardboard and then there's like three layers or four layers of cardboard I glued together and it's the same concept for this gun this part protrudes outside the gun a bit further while this side is a lot more flush with the left side so when I push it, this part becomes flush or somewhat, you know, less sticking out from this side and this side comes out. And as you can see, this piece of cardboard here is completely outside of this, this layer, this side of the gun. Same concept with this gun. So I show right here then when I push it into this and then when I show you the other side there's a cardboard there when I push that in you see that little layer of cardboard inside of the gun so I'll show you guys what to do all you guys are gonna need is some cardboard and some scissors and whatever gun you're working on that has this sort of magazine release. A uh, fun fact, this also can work on pistols. I don't do it on my handguns though because I don't have a lot of room to work with the magazine. So I most I just do this simply with the rifles with this type of release. So just know that that that's the reason why I don't do it on my handguns. Let's get into the tutorial right now. All right, guys, so um, here's what I did just a little while ago. I made this receiver. It's not based on anything in particular. And the same thing with this magazine. This actually used to be my old Mac 10 magazine from like my W, no, my MPA or whatever. I'm gonna use this as a placeholder magazine and I'm gonna show you how the mechanism works. So on my reference I created, I have this little this little tab on here. I'm gonna just simply cut that out and I'm gonna trace it onto the left side of the gun. Well, actually, first of all, I'm gonna cut out the hole 
for the. I'm gonna cut out the hole, which is meant to be a small circle on the right side. And then when I trace that out over here, I'm gonna go on to this side, cut out the rest of it, and then trace that on the left side. So there's the hole on the right side. Now let's trace it out on the left side. All right, so I have that cut out. Trace that, I mean. Now I'm gonna cut it out. Before I cut it out, notice I have this hole right here just off from the mag magazine well. That way when you have like your grip or something, um, when you, um, when you hold your grip and you put your finger off the trigger, your trigger finger can come up to where that button is and push it. And just like I showed on the ACR, this will pop out. I also made sure to make sure they were lined up, drawn in the right spot. I'm not perfectly accurate with that, but we'll see once we start assembling it. So that's that, and then we're gonna do it to this side. All right, so I got both of those cut out. Now it's time to start working on that little circular piece. So I need a long piece of cardboard. I'm gonna just roll into a tube. Just, just roll it into a tube that I, the size I need. This is about as tight as I can get it. Okay, I'm just gonna try and put that in the gun. And it should fit like this. So now I gotta glue that. All right, here we go. All glued up. Before I continue, we're gonna take our magazine. Depending on, I'm gonna put some cardboard on the inside so the magazine will go in at a certain length. So it's not like um, two over here or two over here, probably just somewhere perfectly centered would be fine. Okay, so I got some cardboard in the inside to make sure the magazine doesn't wobble too much everywhere. It fits a snug fit. But speaking of our magazine, on this side we have a hole. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a pencil using this hole as a guideline and trace out a hole on the magazine. You trace that out and you cut that out and that's gonna be the hole your mag release will catch. All right, so I have a hole cut in the magazine. Just like that. I even cut a little bit out the back so I can make sure the lock goes in some. And now we're just gonna start working on the release. All we're gonna do is just take pieces, some strips of cardboard, like I showed. And we're gonna cut them down to where it actually fits inside this little rectangle. So that could be, with this size, I believe it can be like three. But depending on how big you made the hole, it could be more. Okay, for here, it's two that's gonna fit in this. But as you can see, I put those two in and it caught the magazine, so it's not coming out. But I pull that out. It's coming. So now it's time to assemble the magazine release. Looks like a flag. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put like a piece of thin cardboard around this to secure and that'll be 
the hard part done. All right, wrap some cardboard, well, some, that little layer of cardboard around it. So I'm have to place it in like backwards. That's kind of weird to do. Oh, okay. Side note is in there. So we push out. So the basis of your mag release works already, but now it's just time to add those finishing touches. For this side, we're gonna add a piece of cardboard a little bit wider than the rest, so it won't go all the way in or go in too far when you don't use it, when the magazine's not in. So now for the other side, you're gonna cut this down to a length that you're okay with. I say just outside, all right, I say cut down this tube just right there, just where it's flush with the receiver. All right, so with that, it doesn't and you can put like a piece of cardboard there, which I am gonna do. So when you press this in, you're, it won't go out any further than what it's supposed to go out. So that is the mag release. Once it's all dry, you checked it a couple of times. Once you check that a couple of times, you got a working mag release. And that is the tutorial. You're done. Congratulations, you have a mag release for whatever gun you're building. Just like my ACR here. Now, something I did forget to mention is that you can put like a spring somewhere on the inside and it'll have like a spring action. I don't do that because, well, I'm just too lazy to do that. But that is my magazine release, guys. Tutorial. If you guys like this video, be sure to leave a like on this video, comment down in the comment section box below, subscribe to the channel if you are new and you are enjoying this content, and turn on your post notifications so you won't miss an upload. Am I forgetting something? Oh, you know I have Discord now, so you can hit me up on Discord if you want to show me some kind of new cool project. I'll, I'll check that out. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you also learned. I hope this was informative to you all. I'm not gonna lie, this actually looks pretty cool. I might have to make a gun out of this. Some kind of random fictional gun I got in mind. I probably wanna try to make. But yeah, guys, thank y'all. I'll see y'all later, and have a good one. Peace.